Hello, this is the Progressive Cynic, and in this video I'll be discussing the threat of global climate change and giant killer hornets. Now, climate change is real, it's coming, and unfortunately we have a massive debate over whether or not it actually exists because people in power want to keep the status quo as it is and continue burning fossil fuels with abandon. Now, when people say that climate change does not exist, they are simply denying reality and all of the statistics. On the other hand, there are many people who say, oh yeah, it, it exists, but we don't know whether or not it's human-made. And even if it is, I mean, come on, what damage can a few degrees more every day do? Yeah, the polar bears will suffer a little bit, some ice will melt, but really, what, what can it do to humanity? Well, quite a lot. And in addition to increased storm activity, persistent flooding, crop failures, and, well, increased every, every sort of extreme weather event that you can think of, there are some truly horrible consequences when it comes to the changing ecosystem. Now, you probably never have heard of the Asian giant hornet, Vespa mandarinia. It's a hornet obviously, about the size of your thumb, this big. It can fly at 25 miles an hour, it can spit acid, and it is capable of killing you with its stings. In fact, since July, over 42 people in China have died due to these hornets, well, swarming them. If you anger one of these hornets, they will spray you with this acidic pheromone, which in addition to burning your skin, will mark you as a target for every other giant hornet in the area, and then they will chase you and sting you to death. Their venom causes anaphylactic shock and liver failure. So it's not just a matter of people who are allergic, it's everyone. They are incredibly dangerous, and to put this in perspective, you know those Africanized killer bees that everyone was afraid of a few years back? Everyone's thinking, oh, these really dangerous bees will come in and start killing people. Well, if you have a colony of 30,000 Africanized killer bees, and you introduce 30, 30, 30 of these giant hornets in, in three hours, the 30,000 bee colony will be destroyed. They are an apex predator, and they do not pollinate flowers. They eat other bugs, primarily other uh, bees, particularly honeybees. Now, how does this relate to global climate change? Well, in a warmer climate, these previously isolated hornets will be able to spread out even farther across the globe. They live in China, Japan, some other areas in Eastern uh, Asia. Unfortunately, with global climate change, there's a very real possibility that these giant hornets will be able to propagate across larger portions of the globe. This includes areas of Europe and the United States. In fact, there have been reports in France as to these uh, hornets being sighted. Not in any large numbers, but it just, uh, it's a proof of concept that these organisms will now be able to find homes in areas which were previously impossible for them to live in. If you live in, say, Kansas, and you disbelieve in climate change, that's okay. I mean, what, what damage can it do? But then you see one of these hornets, you need to remember, you could have prevented that. I mean, invasive species like these, they will spread more. And, well, the United States may become a prime living ground and hunting ground for these giant killer hornets. And this is just one of the consequences. It may not be as spectacular as endless superstorms like Superstorm Sandy, but, I mean, it's something that if we can avoid, we'd certainly like to. And there's something so, I don't know, disturbing about insects of this size with this level of aggression and this level of damage to humanity coming into a new area. Um, so, if you see a giant hornet like this, or, God forbid, you're stung by a giant hornet like this, well, now you know who to thank. 
thank your friendly petrochemical industries and your Koch brothers. Thank you. This has been The Progressive Cynic. Please follow my blog, theprogressivecynic.com, and my YouTube channel, The Progressive Cynic.